Now this problem illustrate calculating pH at the equivalence point. Question says calculate the pH at equivalence point in the titration of 50 ml 0.1 m acetic acid with 0.1 m NaOH. So this is a case of BK acid a strong base titration. So we have in this case BK acid plus a strong base titration B acid we have that is acetic acid CH3COOH and a strong base in this case we have NaOH question says 50 ml 0.1 m acetic acid so acetic acid is given this is 50 ml concentration is 0.1 m and a strong base concentration is also given that is 0.1 m we can calculate mole of acetic acid that is molarity into volume 50 into 0.1 that is 5 millimole because this is in milliliter and this is molarity. Similarly we can calculate volume of NaOH required. If you see the reaction between CH3COOH plus NaOH we have CH3COO minus Na plus plus H2O now one mole of acetic acid reacts with one mole of NaOH this means mole of acetic acid is same as mole of NaOH is equals to mole of NaOH now mole of acetic acid is 5 millimole so now I know mole of NaOH this is 5 millimole and mole can also be calculated molarity into volume molarity of NaOH is given let us say volume of NaOH required is V ml so we can calculate mole of NaOH that is V into 0 0.1 because molarity is given molarity of NaOH is 0.1 m so V into 0.1 this is 5 this is in milliliter so this side we have in terms of millimole so from here we can calculate V that is 50 ml so what we have we have a titration of NaOH plus acetic acid NaOH is 0.1 m acetic acid is also 0.1 m and the volume of NaOH required is 50 ml and the volume of acetic acid required that is also 50 ml so we can say total volume of solution and this is 50 ml plus 50 ml that is 100 ml Now let us see what will happen at the end of reaction. We have CH3COOH. This is acid and NaOH is a base. It will react. It will give CH3CO minus Na plus that is salt plus water. You see we have 5 millimole of acid and 5 millimole of base initially. and this will result in finally 5 millimole of that is salt so finally what we will have so this is at t is equals to 0 and finally I will have there will be no acid there will be no base but we will have 5 millimole of acetate ion we can calculate concentration of acetate ion so let us calculate concentration of acetate ion that is mole by volume 
and the mole is 5 millimole and the volume is 100 ml milli milli goes so we will have 0 0.05 mole per liter that is molarity now in solution we have main ion is acetate ion now this will do hydrolysis this is a salt of bk acid so this is a salt of bk acid if you remember bk acid salts hydrolyzes the water so this will hydrolyze the water so what we will have we will have a hydrolysis reaction CH3COO minus it will react with H2O this is a equilibrium reaction we will have this side CH3COOH plus OH minus and equilibrium constant for this reaction is hydrolysis constant that is KW by KA you see the finally solution will be basic because we have OH minus so neutral point we will have a basic neutral point and concentration of acetate ion is 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.05 m initially we have 0 so this is T is equals to 0 let us say T is equals to T when we have equilibrium so x mole of acetate ion dissociate we will have x mole of acetic acid and x mole of OH minus now we can write x square by 0 0.05 minus x this is equals to kh and this is equals to kw by ka now x square by 0 0.05 minus x kw is 10 to the power minus 14 and k is given that is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 so you see this value is given here 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 5 so now we will have x square divided by 0 0.05 minus x this is around 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 1.8 now we will make an approximation here and what is your approximation that is 0 0.05 minus x is approximately equals to 0 0.05 so if I use this approximation we will have x square by 0 0.05 is equals to 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 1.8 from here we can write x square is equals to 0 0.05 divided by 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 9 or we can write x square is equals to let us say 5 into 10 to the power minus 11 divided by 1.8 or we can write 50 divided by 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 12 so we will have x is equals to root over 50 by 1.8 and this will be 10 to the power minus 6 now let us calculate the square root of this number so we have a square root of 50 divided by 1.8 so 50 divided by 1.8 this value is 5.27 so we have x is equals to 5.27 into 10 to the power minus 6 and what is x x is the concentration of OH minus so now I know concentration of OH minus this is equals to 5.27 into 10 to the power minus 6 so we can calculate POH that is minus log of 5.26 into 10 to the power minus 6 so let us take log 5.26 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 
5.26 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this is minus 5.279. So around plus 5.27. This is my pOH. We can calculate pH. pH is 14 minus pOH that is 14 minus 5.27 so we will have 14 minus 5.27 so this is 8.73 so at neutral point pH will be basic see pH is 8.73 that is basically greater than 7 so at neutral point or equivalence point this is happening because of hydrolysis of acetate ion and this is because hydrolysis of acetate ion so whenever we have a weak acid plus a strong base titration so we have a weak acid plus a strong base titration at neutral point pH will be basic or at equivalence point we will have pH that corresponds to basic region similarly if I have a titration of weak base plus a strong acid this time we will have at equivalence point pH will be acidic and this is due to the hydrolysis of salt of weak base hydrolysis of salt of weak base